Well, hello folks, I'm L.A. Little and this is today's short take. XLE, energy sector, beaten up, has been beaten up, continues to be beaten up. I keep looking at it saying, okay, when are we going to get some sort of a playable uh, bounce? Not so much a bounce, but a uh, bottom in this market. Makes lows, makes new lows, gets a nice bounce off of it, but you come down, you break it all down again, you make new lows again. You know, we're going to reach a point where there is value here, but this is on the weekly chart. No bottom yet. If I look inside this sector, right, and ask myself, you know, what's moving inside of it and which ones have relative strength, there just simply isn't much here. For example, if I look at ConocoPhillips, new lows. If I just, you know, flip through all the big ones, CVX, new lows, uh, EOG resources, they made new lows, got a bounce with some volume coming in, people trying to, you know, maybe it's short covering, maybe it's people trying to position, maybe it's got something going here, but then you look at it on the weekly, it's broken under the lows. Uh, and if you just go down the list, you know, Halliburton, these are the, the top 10 weightings inside uh, the index. Or the sector. Halliburton, this one is the only one, or actually there's two of them, this is one of the two, which actually shows a positive divergence. In other words, this thing hasn't broken to new lows. So if I'm looking inside here, I'm looking to see which of these have positive divergence and potentially can get us higher. Um, Occidental, they made new lows if you put them on the weekly. Um, here's, here's another one, and this whole group has done well. It's Phillips 66, which is your refiners. So the refiners is a group you could look at. Pioneer, new lows. Schlumberger, yeah, at least Schlumberger also has new lows. I mean, a positive uh, divergence. And uh, this one, you know, just like the Halliburton one, is one that one could look at, right? Positive divergence. It hasn't made new lows. So there's not a lot in the group yet. If you're still thinking about this group, you have to be monitoring instead of buying. Um, at some point, it's going to offer a good trade and a good longer-term investment, but right now, it's still not there. That's the energy group, and that is today's short take.